Just when everyone thought Toyota was quiet, it made the biggest attack. And now, everything is about to change. While the rest of the companies in the industry were lost in show-offs and stage lights, there was one company that was quietly building something that has now completely shaken up the market. There were no leaks and no events, but now everything is out. Toyota's CEO has suddenly made a statement that has increased the heartbeat of the entire auto industry. This was not a normal announcement. It was a direct warning. Their new dynamic force engine will destroy the competition. According to sources, this engine has been designed in such a way that it not only gives new life to hybrids, but also leaves behind the limitations of conventional engines. This is the reason why everyone's eyes are now turned towards Toyota, from Tesla to Ford and BYD. So what is this dynamic force engine? What is it that makes it the most aggressive move in Toyota's history? And why is there an atmosphere of restlessness in the boardrooms of other companies at this time? Let's unravel this suspense. But before that, if you also want to stay at the forefront of the world of auto technology, then do not forget to subscribe to the channel so that every new wave of technology reaches you first. Before we talk about that engine, Let's understand a little about Toyota and why this company is not giving up the gasoline engine even while running in the electric race. When the whole world is running towards EVs, when every company is in a race to connect its next car with a battery and motor, Toyota is one name that has surprised everyone. It is not only maintaining its old gasoline engines but has also brought a new dynamic force engine. The question arises, when Tesla, BYD, Ford, and other auto giants are running fast in the EV race, then why is Toyota still making traditional engines? Actually, the thinking behind Toyota is not just about today's trend, but about the coming decades. Toyota knows that EV is a progressive change at the moment, but this change is not the same for everyone. Many big markets like India, Africa, Southeast Asia, and the Middle East are still behind in terms of EV infrastructure. Here, charging stations, stable power supply, and logistics of EV batteries are still a challenge. In such a situation, Toyota believes that by focusing only on EVs, it will ignore the needs of consumers. Toyota has a special strategy, a multi-pathway strategy. This means that the company believes every market has its own needs and a single solution does not fit everywhere. Under this thinking, Toyota has worked on EV, hybrid, plug-in hybrid, and hydrogen, all four. And the dynamic force engine is a part of this thinking. This engine has been designed to give more power and less fuel, reduce pollution, and last longer. That is, Toyota is targeting those customers who cannot afford EVs but want better mileage and modern technology. Apart from this, Toyota's biggest strength is its trust and long-term value. People know that Toyota's vehicles run for years, and their engines never fail easily. This belief encourages Toyota to continue investing in traditional technology. Also, Toyota's hybrid technology, such as the Prius, has shown that a mix of petrol and electric power can be a great solution, especially in countries where EV charging is still a distant dream. You know, Toyota engineers also understand that petrol engines can be made as efficient as EVs with the right technology. The dynamic force engine is an example of this, where airflow, compression ratio, and heat management have been modified to increase performance while reducing environmental impact. Toyota wants to prove that thinking EVs are the only future is, well, limited thinking, and that smart engine technology can also compete with the market in the future. Toyota believes that not only is EV the future, but petrol engines also have a lot of room for improvement. With this thinking, Toyota has launched its dynamic force engines, which have been made by breaking away from traditional thinking. These are not minor updates, but are part of Toyota's global design system called TNGA, which makes vehicles more durable, more fuel efficient, and easier to manufacture. While other companies are engaged in becoming fully electric, Toyota believes that both types of technology, petrol and electric, should run together. The company's CEO clearly says that these new engines are part of their larger strategy. Their aim is to give more performance and less fuel, 
less pollution, and a more reliable experience. These engines can also run on fuels like ethanol or hydrogen, which further opens up options. Toyota understands that, you know, the needs of every country are different. In some places, there's just a lack of electric charging points, and in others, electricity isn't always reliable. In such a situation, fuel engines really prove to be the best option there. These engines are designed using Toyota's TGA technology, which honestly allows the same engine to be used in multiple vehicles. This not only saves time and money in manufacturing, but the same engine can be fitted in everything from small cars to large SUVs. Engineers don't have to start from scratch every time, allowing them to focus on improving engine quality. This new approach not only allows Toyota to update vehicles quickly, but also ensures that when fuels change in the future, like to ethanol or hydrogen, the company won't have to make any major changes. Dynamic force engines don't just focus on power or speed, but are actually designed to save more fuel and cause less pollution. These engines are unique in that they convert fuel directly into power rather than wasting it as heat. The piston stroke is long and the fuel injection technology is, well, pretty advanced. Special cooling systems such as electric water pumps and temperature control technology have been installed to make the engine last longer and perform well in all weather conditions. Toyota's engine series has three variants a three-cylinder for small cars, a four-cylinder for regular cars, and a V6 for bigger and more powerful vehicles. Each engine is designed to be compatible with hybrid systems, meaning the company can use these engines in both petrol and hybrids if it wants. They are manufactured in Toyota's international factory network. The design allows them to be manufactured in any country by adding local parts. The advantage of this is that the cost is low, and if a country requires a specific fuel, such as ethanol, the company can make the engine accordingly without changing the entire factory. Toyota's Dynamic Force engine is not just a new engine. It is a thought, a technological step that can redefine the entire internal combustion engine industry in the coming time. Now, let's talk about what is so special in this engine that makes it different from all the rest. First of all, let's talk about thermal efficiency. In a conventional engine, thermal efficiency, that is to say the ability to convert fuel into energy, is between 25 to 30 percent. This means that whatever fuel we put in, a large part of it is wasted as heat, and very little part is actually used to run the car. But Toyota's dynamic force engine has taken this figure to more than 40 percent, so, Toyota is not just launching an engine, it is launching a vision for a flexible and resilient automotive future. While the industry is, you know, pretty polarized between an all-electric future and the defense of traditional engines, Toyota has chosen a third path, a multi-pathway strategy that really refuses to put all its eggs in one basket. The dynamic force engine is the centerpiece of this strategy, representing a bridge between the trusted past and an uncertain future. This engine is engineered for adaptability. Its design actually allows it to run efficiently not only on conventional gasoline, but also on biofuels like ethanol, and in future iterations, on hydrogen through internal combustion. This flexibility is honestly crucial for global markets where energy infrastructure varies wildly. In regions with unstable electricity grids or scarce charging stations, a vehicle that can run on locally produced biofuel or eventually on green hydrogen offers a practical and immediate path to lower emissions without waiting for a full infrastructure overhaul. Of course, hydrogen has challenges. It's highly flammable and tricky to store safely, and burning it can produce nitrogen oxide. Still, Toyota's approach to carbon neutrality is far more diverse than its competitors. While most automakers are betting everything on batteries, Toyota is exploring multiple technologies to reach zero emissions. That foresight looks increasingly wise. Energy shortages caused by the war in Ukraine have forced European nations to cut consumption. Switzerland even advised EV owners to drive only for essential trips, and, you know, that could actually become law. Hydrogen vehicles offer a promising alternative. 
Fuel cell technology provides longer range and faster refueling than battery EVs. However, for hydrogen cars to go mainstream, costs must drop. Hydrogen production must become cleaner, and refueling networks must expand. Hydrogen fuel cell technology isn't new. NASA used it in the 1960s to power spacecraft. It works by splitting hydrogen atoms into protons and electrons. The electrons generate electricity while the protons combine with oxygen to form water, which is honestly the only emission. Hydrogen cars store compressed hydrogen in reinforced tanks feeding it through a fuel cell stack that powers electric motors releasing only water vapor. In the end, the choice belongs to consumers.